to take your muted green and use it to outline a crescent shape sitting nicely in the bottom half of your lemon. Lemons are round and therefore they have a curved shadow like this. I then paint in any signs of details or textures falling along that same line of the crescent. Next, I go ahead and take my red orange and use it to start to fill in that shadow shape. The secret to shading any yellow object is always orange in the shadows. I don't know why, but it works. Next, use your muted orange to paint in the core shadow or bed bug line, which is the line at the top of the crescent that cuts through your lemon. I make sure to blur out this line the further it wraps around the lemon. Afterward, I take my light yellow and use it to start painting in the highlight areas of the lemon. I'm making sure to imply texture without going too overboard. Then, I mix some more white into that light yellow and use it to paint the highlights. It's easy to go overboard with these two, so less is more when it comes to this step. And hey, we have a lemon!